As the wife of a chef and a butcher, thanks to you, Curtis, I've seen my fair share of butcher shops. I know, honey, and I'm so, so sorry. But guess what? <laughs> You're so lucky we're going to see one more. But this is a very special place, and you can only find it in Sydney. It's just outside the city in Waterloo. And there's not a single land animal in this butcher shop. Everything that you're about to see comes from the ocean. Let's go. OK, Lindsay, we're in Sydney. And we're about to have one of the best weeks ever. Oh, look, it's in Oh, I saw the whale! I saw it! It's been two years since we were last here, and we wanted to soak up as much of Sydney as we could. So many ingredients. This is like my playground right now. It just keeps getting better and better. Thank you. Whoa, look at this place. Come around. All right, so this is, this is where the magic <laughs> starts, wow. at least. Oh, hello. <laughs> so what's the primary purpose of dry aging the fish? Well, flavor. Yeah. But also, it's a far superior way of storing the fish. Right. So if we think about the way that we've handled fish in the past, it might be three to four days of shelf life. Yeah. Whereas now we're considering whether we're going to leave this here for two weeks or three. Wow. Right. I just not even have good thumbs. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Will you break down the fish for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah come absolutely. on, let's go break it down. Let's break it down. No, I repeat this one. Oh, nice. Papuka. Papuka. So when people say butcher, yeah. everybody thinks meat. Yeah. But you've opened a fish butchery. Yeah, Why? controversially, yeah. <laughs> there is no way that you would see any butcher in the world, you know, work with a pig to only then cut the loins off its back and throw the rest in the bin. But essentially that's what we're doing with the fish every day. So a normal fish yields less than 50%. What do you think it should be? We always aspire to hit 90, 95. Wow. Yeah. Big, big change. Yeah. So what I started doing was putting trays on top of the bins next to the guys because they would be cutting and then just throwing things in the bin and not really even realising. And then at the end of the night, I'd pull it out. Right. And we would go through everything that we threw in the bin. Right. So we take the eyeballs and we make ice cream out of them. <laughs> the gallbladder and the gills basically make up our hopeful 5% loss. I told you it was cool. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, let's start with breaking yeah. down a fish. I want to see... Yeah, yeah. What Josh is doing is so new, but so clever. He's applying all of the principles of butchery, but he's using them on fish. And it opens up so many possibilities for home cooks and chefs alike. So as a meat butcher, I'm looking at this. Yeah. If you're doing lamb, you're cutting cutlets. Oh my gosh, I see it now. <gasps> Mate, thank you. This is so insightful and so important, and I'm so glad that you've gotten to show us it all. Like, to think that you can take one fish, break it down into so many beautiful different pieces. Right. You're trying to do two impossible things. Like, that's a huge task. Yeah. But you're also s serving the greatest seafood in Sydney, and people are coming with an expectation of it's the best. Yeah. I've been here a week, and I've already heard about you 10 times. <laughs> Not just from <laughs> No, it's true. No. Like, just, you know, from, from friends. Yeah. yeah. Biggest thing, though, is I want you guys to taste it, because one thing to see it, and then it's another to actually. Oh, yes. Oh, I never it. thought so that you would have. I've got a few act. things here now. So we can. Oh, yeah. Look at these. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a double yellowfin tuna roll up my cheeseburger. For this, one. this relies upon the waste from tuna. Okay. This is not putting primary. Hold on. What's that? That's like so a bacon. That's smoked Murray Cod bacon. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Cheers. I feel like we should be sharing one and Josh should get his own. Huh. That's oh tuna. Oh my god. Is that tuna? Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my mm. god. For real, this is one of the most delicious burgers I've ever had. I'm not joking, it's so delicious. And also utilizing every single part of a tuna. I mean, dude, it's just so good. This is the most tangible, accessible product that represents the work of four businesses and six years worth of work and it summarizes it into one handheld unit. Just keep talking. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason you have a line 
down the street of people waiting for this. And there's only a couple of spots in the world you can get it. They're both here in Sydney. Charcoal Fish. Rose Bay, yeah. Fish Butchery. Yeah, Waterloo. Yeah. And Paddington. Yeah. That's it. This is a pescatarian's dream. No, this is mind-blowing. Right.